So this is how plants respond to stimuli and the key word here is tropism and that is how that plant responds to the stimuli. So let's look at the word phototropism. That's how plants respond to light and their shoots grow up towards the light. So we say they are positively phototropic because they grow in the direction of the light. However, the roots of the plant, they grow downwards, so they are negatively phototropic because they grow away from the light. Equally, there's another stimulus, which is the sort of the force of gravity acting on the roots, and we can call that gravitotropism or geotropism, and that is downwards, and so we can say the plant roots are also positively geotropic because they grow downwards. So, how does phototropism work? Let's see. Well, imagine there's a light over there, and I'm a plant, and I have my, uh, my leaves here. Now, I want to grow towards the light. So, how does that happen? Um, well, what happens is, if the light's over there, a hormone in me goes to the dark side. This is a dark side, so a hormone called auxin goes to the dark, shady side. And what auxin does is it causes the cells to elongate, to get longer on that side. So if the cells on that side get longer, I end up bending towards the light. And that's phototropism. And phototropism is useful because the more light I get, the faster I'll be able to photosynthesize and the more sugar, the more food I will make as a plant. This time we're going to be talking about the roots growing downwards, geotropism. And in fact, what auxin does here is, it in fact, in the roots, it has the opposite effect. It causes the roots to stop elongating, and this in fact makes them bend downwards and go down, further down into the ground. And of course plants need that because the deeper the roots, the more water they can get, the more nutrients they can get, and the better the plant is anchored. There's one more plant hormone you need to know about, and that's called gibberellins. And gibberellins um, help seeds to germinate. So a little seed to start sprouting shoots and roots. And that's because what they do is they turn stored starch into sugar. And so that's the last hormone you need to know about, gibberellins.